Hello, hello. How's everybody doing on this Thursday? Come on in here to the painted soul. And I see I got sound that I can't get rid of. <laughs> Man, technology keeps changing. Oh, well, to get started, my name is Mary Tamerlan um, with the Pain of Soul studio i have a, a free group that's the painted soul creative journey group uh hello everybody in there hope everybody's having a good day i just wanted to come on here real quick <clears throat> and show y'all what i'm up to it's been kind of hard in the studio lately a lot's been going on but <clears throat> this is one thing i i this is my fun thing. I don't care how it turns out. If it's sloppy, it's just, let's go over here. Let's have fun. This is my paint journal. This is a, um, a book from the Dollar Tree. And I gesso the pages and I like usually take two of them at a time and I, I glue them together with a uh, Mod Podge and, um, some of them I gesso, like this one's gesso, this one's not gesso. This was some paint I had left over in a paint project, and I just, just threw it on there. I slapped it on there. Um, sometimes I just sit down and work on stuff. Um, like this piece was totally black and white when I started, started it, and it ended up like that. But I don't know if you can see. Sort of got a bird hidden back there. This is sort of more of an intuitive piece. Um, I had a bunch of this gold left over, so I just slap it down. Hey, Marilyn. I just slap it down in my book, and I don't have to do anything that time. This is just saving paint. I had a bunch of these colors saved over. But I see a picture in here, so I'll eventually... Um, go back and do my picture you know sometimes you don't feel like painting you just need to slap paint on there this is another piece where i just took black gesso and it was on a piece of paper and i took it and just smushed it down on top of here and then i ended up with this horse later on um i call this my living journal because i like i like this piece but this is not finished, but I'll come back to it. it. That's the reason I call it a living journal because I'm constantly working in it. Like, I, I like to smash paint. So I did this piece over here, <laughs> this side over here, and used all these colors. And then I decided to use the, all the same colors over here, but see what would come out of that. So, um, and then I do some still life, whatever, you know, you want to do for the day. I got, um, hadn't done anything there. That's the reason I'm still calling it my living journal. I'll probably, not sure if I'm satisfied with this piece, but I can come back to it. Hey, Johnny. Hey, Mary. You know, I, she's my bird. Um. I like to do a lot of pattern, as you can see. And then this piece right here. Now, I painted the front of the book white, but I'm I'm not going to do anything to it until I'm finished, because you can see I get paint. I got, I'm a sloppy painter. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I try to keep the, my area clean, but today, I decided to work on this page here because I've been doing these little miniature um, pieces. In fact, this is for a friend. This is a, sort of a replica of that Mexican artist, um, Frida. The real, I just love that lady's work. <clears throat> um, so what she was wanting, um, I don't, well, she's not on here, so, but this is going to be like a Christmas present. So, um, 
a bunch of girls were getting together. She wanted like a Frida tree, and uh, we we're gonna we were all gonna contribute a little miniature of Frida, but you know. I'll probably put some kind of ribbon around it or something so you can hang it on the tree. But while I was doing that, I said, well, why don't I do, do one of these girls in my journal? So that's what I'm doing right now. What are you girls up to? You're late. Yes, it's a book from um, the Dollar Tree. Just, a, I, well, it was a dollar. It was probably a dollar 25 now. Um, it was on, <laughs> on top of that, it's on how low sugar can impact your recipes and how to lose weight. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> I'll just forget losing weight. We'll just cover it all up. But I sort of, I like the way the, um, the um, words come through. You can do mixed media in these books too, but I would uh, personally to get because they are cheap. <clears throat> and I think this would be cool once I got it painted to put it out on the coffee table or I don't know, some, maybe when I pass away, the kids will want to have it or something like that. So this is mama stuff. That she did looks like we got a bad storm coming but um, the artist I was telling you about she she was a cool lady she only lived to be 47 years old though and she had a unibrow and she could sport it she made it look good But I think my girl here, I'm going to make her something like herself. She did many self-portraits of herself. And she had all kinds of animals, monkeys, birds. I was thinking about <clears throat> maybe sticking a bird on this bun right here. Yes, you can use um, napkins. You, um, I've glued stuff before to these books. It's been a while. Um, if you can get one, when you go into the Dollar Tree, you can see some of them have um, thicker pages than others. So you might want to get the thicker page one if you know you're going to do a lot of mixed media in it. Oh, it's thundering bad outside. Lightning. I'm going to put a little bit more color in her, her skin. Now, on the outside, you could probably you know, glue all kinds of stuff to it with mixed media. I would just find a book with heavy but I thought she'd be fun to have in this book. Um, also I want to kind of encourage y'all that this is we don't care this is our don't, We Don't Care book. We don't care if it's sloppy. So somebody might not like that. <laughs> I don't just, I haven't gessoed all my pages like this one. <clears throat> I started putting, like I said, I had a bunch of paint on my palette and I smushed it on here. And then I had some, um, some face is that while I was stamping, so I just went ahead and stamped some faces on there. Now, what'll become of that? I don't know, but it'll. What's been good about this is like slapping paint down like this. When I come back through it, it'll um, you'll see something, and then it'll jog inspiration, and um, you know you'll pull something out like 
like I didn't, I saw when I saw this, I saw like the nose, but this, and then I went in and did the, all the background, like negative <clears throat> space. I, uh, you know, did it out with the um, turquoise and brought the horse on out. And then I brought in color. So I haven't gessoed all my pages. Um, like this, this one I didn't gesso. And you can see the words back there behind it. But I, can, I think that kind of gives it, I mean, it depends on you. This one, this one's gessoed. See, and it's two pages glued together. So. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. I think I'm going to bring some green in. I think I want, um, you can kind of see, I want it to care. I don't know what I'm going to do on this page, but I might just, she liked cats, birds, monkeys, um, all kinds of stuff. Um, I might put something like a, I don't know, I might put a monkey over there. We'll see. <laughs> that might be for a later date. Um, and then again, I might not. Boy, I got the green paint all over me on that one. But let me pour a little bit of green paint out. What's fun about these books is... Um, is to try and maybe carry it on out on the next page. Like, um, well, that one I did. Let's see, where's the one? I like, I love it when the flowers go like that on the different pages. Yes, yeah, so I put two pages together. I use the Mod Podge and I use these little clamps. Um, a lot too. And usually when I Mod Podge, I'll do like, uh, let's say a whole, maybe get 10, 10 pages together ready to paint. Like these are ready to whatever I want to do. And sometimes, you know, you don't feel like painting, you just want to glue. And I'll glue some pages together and get them ready, ready for the future. And then when I got extra paint left over, I smush it on my pages. And some of my pages, I just paint white gesso. I go ahead and get a few white gesso pages ready. Um, let me get in here. I was going to paint and I'm talking away, but. Um, it's been a good inspiration having this little book. Um, I have another one where I just do, let's see, I just do pen, pen work in. So if I'm sitting, I'll get, let me, I'll get it for you. This one I carry out on my um, back porch and I just do pen and water and just like, it's not real, it's not like a whole picture. It's just bits and pieces of things, you know, that grab my eye and I try and draw real quick and not use, don't use any uh, pencil with it. and. Plus, when you use the pen, and it's fun to take your water and see what kind of um, marks come from when you put the water on the pen. Hey, Bonnie, how are you doing? So this one, another, but this one is pretty good paper. This is from Hobby Lobby. This is one of those journal things that they have. But this is what you can do that's cheap and inexpensive and you can have fun, fun with. And um, do all kinds of stuff. 
And also, you can go in this book, use these books, go paint in it, and then you get an idea, and you're like, oh, I like that, and then put it on paint, on canvas. But, you know, like I said, this is our, our fun time. We don't want to be stressed. You know, if it doesn't work out, you can cut the page out if you hate it that much. <laughs> you can always paint over. <laughs> but I wouldn't even worry about painting over this book. I would just probably cut out a page <laughs> if I, I didn't like it that bad, <laughs> that much. But Frida always wore her hair up and had flowers in them. So. Um, Put this sort of like this little lady right here, except I'm going to put her flower on the other side of her head. And so the background, I just took, I had some blue paint here and I just had my paint brush and I went like that and I had a little bit of purple and had done that on this page and I decided it was a little too um, bright. So if you ever do a background and it's ever it's very bright, you can always do a water a wash over it. Um, just you know take your white paint, thin it down and and I just washed it over. See, uh, you can tell with another coat, it even mutes it more. But you have this design in the background that kind of fades. And if you can add more white or thin it out more. Got a little heavy handed there than I wanted to in this piece. And if I think that's too dark, then I'm gonna take my rag and I'm gonna wipe over it. When I, I want, I, was, I want that um, background. I don't know why white does not show up good on the camera, but I want that pattern to show up. So I don't want to mute it out that much. So let me go over here i balance it out a little bit. Or I can wet it some more and take more off. So that's just an idea. That's what I did with this. I felt like it was a little too strong, so I, I colored it down. I want to put a, a vine up there. Now I gotta let that dry before I let me get my Yeah, Bonnie, I really like this idea. And another thing that's good about that, you know, I keep telling y'all smash paint in here. I mean, you can, like, all this paint that be left over, you can go through there and just dab it here and there. And then that way, you're not as intimidated. Oh, there's a white sheet of paper, and I don't know what to do with it um, type of thing. It's already got some color on it, and, and it's, it might be calling something to you, like my horse here. Where's my horse? Yeah. That was just black and white gesso smeared on here. And so I got my horse out of that. Um, some people, I'm, like I said, I'm a messy painter sometimes, but you can, if you're scared you're going to get paint on another your other next page, then you can put a piece of paper in between there and you know save it but yes try this go get you a book from the dollar store or dollar 25 or whatever it is now <laughs> it's still cheap and um try this out i think i'm gonna do her i'm gonna do this lady she 
was a snazzy dresser too. So I'm gonna do her dress in black because I got that orange down there at the bottom. And then I'll probably put in some lace. Um, her father was a photographer and I think that's what inspired her so much was self-portraits and how to pose for them. Um, But I think I'm just, since I got this black out, I'm going to go ahead and, only thing is the black's going on down here. Now, I wanted another bird in her hand, so I need to be careful. So I want a piece of lace across here. I'm just going to. I might not. Well, I can always come back in and put my bird in with my white paint. I can take Gesso and put him in her hand. Today I'm having a hard time finding my favorite brush. I cleaned a whole bunch of brushes and I can't find it. So is everybody burning up? It sounds like the weather across the country is really hot. We got thunderstorms here. So I know this looks crazy. The movie of Frida was inspiring. I haven't seen that. I heard, was it right that she was in a horrible, um, bus accident and was had to have a lot of surgeries and plus she had had did she have polio I think too she only lived to be 47 years old I think it's sad she had a lot of well of course most of you see me paint you know I like a lot of color and she had a lot of color in hers and her stuff was kind of it was abstract, but real looking too. It, the way she would do herself. That was like, she's fat. I do this. Oh, well, I wasn't thinking about that. <laughs> okay. <coughs> hey, Facebook user. I don't see your name. I'm sorry, but hello. I hope everybody's having a good day. But uh, let's get some. And you can see it paints differently than, um, um, you know, on canvas. And it paints differently than, um, what do you say, your multimedia books that are prepared for all the moisture. Um, you can't, since the gesso, if you know you're gonna use a lot of, a lot of water or, let's say I want a, I'm gonna do a, like a, a vine or something over here above her head. And we might even go with something more down over here for a later day, but um, I'll probably put some texture in the floor. Let's see. So I got well this background. I'm calling it the floor, but um, just making little dots. Hey Lisa, how are you today? But I'm, I'm having fun getting these little um, canvases and painting on them. 
And I think they'd be so cute hanging on the tree. Don't, I mean, wouldn't she be cute on a Christmas tree? I mean, it doesn't have to be a Christmas theme. <laughs> Is it raining anywhere for y'all? It started raining here. Yeah. Um, might go with that more over there. Let's see. What color should we do with the flower in her hair? I guess, I don't know. Maybe I should bring some of the orange up there. Let's go ahead and block in her. I want this big flower on the side of her head. Uh, since I'm going with the I'm just going to make her um, top orange. Her, um, seems to be the going color right now from this picture. So I'm going to block that in. And you can get real detailed with this. Okay. Sometimes I find myself getting lost in my journal. Um, Oh, y'all, it's raining here. I'm in North Carolina. It's finally raining. It was so hot when I walked this morning. It sounds good out there. So I will come in there. Let's give her a little bit of a... Now I might come in here and do some dots. Make her lace look more lacy. Uh, she will I'm have to work on this arm over here, but I'm not going to go into all that detail right now. And I'm thinking about, I just want to get started with this and let y'all see what you could do with a dollar tree book i think um debbie with the paint um traveling paintbrush does a lot with the dollar tree books i'm not sure but i think she does i think i'm gonna do the, do some some kind of big flower up here I don't know if I want them yellow, I might white them out and do them a different color. Let's see. Because uh, I got my bird there. What color should I make my bird? Hmm. Maybe I should make him purple. Let's see. Since I got that purple in the background, Maybe he should be that color. I think that color is probably going to work. Can y'all see? Seems like I can't keep things focused lately. Maybe if I come over this way a little bit. It wants to act weird. Is that better? It's doing that, you know, crazy stuff. Sorry, ladies. I guess I don't need to complain. A lot of people have had a lot of problems with Facebook lately. My dogs are scared because of the thunder and they're trying to get in here. <laughs> but I think I'm going to get my bird right there.
were you the Facebook user? Who is you? <laughs> it's still saying Facebook for, um, user. I like the purple. Let's see. You might have to... Sometimes you have to re... I noticed um, StreamYard had to do some things different. I had to do some things different today than normal to reset up my stream yard. They had to recapture my Facebook page and get all my groups back together. So everybody knows Meta is trying to get established. Terry, you gave permission? I don't know why it's doing that. That's weird. That is weird. I'm going to go ahead and put me some leaves up. Get some leaves established up here. When I start doing stuff, it gives me more of an idea or what kind of personality she's going to have. Oh gracious, y'all hear that thunder? <clears throat> see Terry now? Do I see Terry now? Um, hey Anna, no, um, I don't see you, Terry. It's still saying you're a Facebook user. That's weird, isn't it? I might bring some of this orange up here. I might have to get off here. It looks like my picture's fading. It might be the weather. What's going on with it? <clears throat> Terry, that is so funny. I always see your name and your face. Oh, Miss Frida, she always had some big lips too. She, had, she sported that red lipstick. Let's go ahead and put some of that in. Although I said I wasn't sure I was going to make her into her. Well. I'm going to give her some cobalt blue. Uh, I'm sure her eyes were probably brown. So go ahead and get some. Y'all, <laughs> my dog's trying to tear. <laughs> door open. <laughs> Bailey, it's okay. Let's go ahead and get some eyes in there, even though I haven't put a nose in. Let her speak to us some more. some color in. Get her 
flowers. A little more detail. Now I was going to put a bird here in her hand and since I've already got black down there, I'm going to pull my gesso out and stick one in. Now she had, she would make these crazy looking, she had some crazy looking animals in her stuff. I'm going to make this bird different from that bird. Maybe look like one of those turkeys that you'd make in school when you were um, in elementary school. Let him be looking up at her. So that's where I'm going to put my other bird. Now I got to do something with this arm right here. So this right here is her, her hand coming over in front of her. This one I'm just going to have going down. So I'm going to just so out that color right there so I can go on down with her her arm right there Jesso is our friend <laughs> y'all you there's a lot of people on here do y'all use uh, gesso a lot Okay. Have y'all used black gesso? Oh gosh, there's all kinds of stuff you can do with black gesso. You've got to give this a try. Okay. I want, well, let's do a little more detail in her. lace. So let's, I'm going to take this gesso, kind of want it to have a little more scallop to it. So I can come back and turn this orange. And make that piece of lace right there look fancier. Going across her. And I can even, let's make this one up here, maybe have a little. Just so out of the way. <clears throat> Oops, I got too much water on my brush. Well, not enough water. come back and make little X's like that little embroidery work get my hand in my paint y'all don't do that either do you
Hmm. Now somebody else says, I can see your name and face in all your comments, Terry. But I can't. Let me see if I refresh. And see if I see anything. No, I see Kathy. And I see Lisa, Joni, Facebook user. I see Bonnie, Madeline, Joni, Mary. <laughs> but Terry, I just don't see you, girl. <clears throat> It could be the weather, what's going on here. Okay, so I'm going to work. No, I just bought these br this brush I don't know if I can, from Hobby Lobby. And it's I just got it out. See the little hair? Can you see that little hair? And it's already, it's got another hair right there. It's already um, falling apart on me. And I've maybe used it two times. And I don't have any paint in the barrel. I just, I'm so tired of buying brushes and they fall apart. Let's get another one out. Let's see if this one did, is any better. So I'm gonna take a little white. I'm gonna go ahead and start. Okay, I know I put the blue in right there, but this is the way I work. can always go back and put that in. I'm going to put her some eyes in. See, this brush is not even any good. I'm, just, I'm so disappointed. Because we got to put all this makeup on. Right? Got to put it on. Let me see if I can get my liner brush. Maybe that'll, I'll just see if I can work with it. Usually I don't put the eyes in it till the end. I want to give her a little bit more part too while I'm thinking about it. Here, cause a little more. I guess a widow's peak. Got our bird up here, so I'm gonna go ahead and put his little legs in. <laughs> I'm not sure I like. I wonder if I should make her net her. her uh, chin a little bit longer or narrow right there. And her nose is going to be right in here. So I'm going to lighten that up some. I don't try to do much to the nose. I just, I just want it to look like it's there when I do these ladies. <clears throat> Let's give her a little more highlight right there. 
Yeah. Should I make her into a Frida or should I just leave turn her into something another little girl or lady? What do y'all think? I'll just add a little more of the flesh tone over to soften this up a little. It's a little. Well, that uh, softened up too much. So let's take some of that away. See how it come back when I put my rag over it. Still, I'm not liking it. Plus, this is also a good place to work on faces. Let's give her some chin down there. Uh, you use makeup brushes. You know, I, a lot of people do that and get good results in it. I've never. Um, done it before and I probably need to try it. Um, I just never get up and go get my my makeup brush. Hmm. So What size makeup brushes do you use, Kathy? Do you get a, a special brand or you just go to Hobby, the Hobby Lobby, um, the dollar store and go there in their uh, makeup section and buy brushes? I think I gotta have some kind of little flower right here too. <clears throat> Maybe that's the reason the bird sat on her bun. <laughs> He's coming for the flower. So let's get that blocked in. <clears throat> Let There's something here. There's part of the background here beside her face. It's not showing up. So kind of swirls in here. Done. So we're just going to keep building. Um, might add some white in here. Let's see so you can get some highlight. I can even bring a little bit of the yellow in as a highlight too off her curls. Let some of it go over there. I have got to find my good brush, y'all. This is driving me crazy. It's got to be over there somewhere. I've overlooked it. I 
just putting a little bit of highlight in there. Oh, she's starting to look pretty. Okay. So, just some old brushes, you know, like longer use lip. Let's see, it disappeared. Lip, some thin eye shadow, even concealer. Oh, yes. That would be a good idea. Didn't um that Jane Davenport have some, well, her own brand that's sort of like makeup? Oh, how did I do that? <laughs> no! So I'm just taking a little bit of water and getting on that. A little bit right there. My pages are starting to get wet. Two. There she goes. Well, guys, I'm going to have to get out of here. My dog's going crazy in there. And I'm about been on here for an hour anyway. But I will continue on this afternoon. And I'll put a picture of her in the bottom. And don't forget, it's just a dollar book from the Dollar Tree. That's all it is. And I took Mod Podge and glued pages together to make it thick. And then some pages I actually put the gesso on like, but this one I didn't. So get you a book and get started <laughs> and just have fun in it. Don't worry about everything. It's not supposed to be a, it's supposed to be fun. Something that you can you know, put up later or you can save it or whatever. You can stick it out on the coffee table. I think it, like I said, I think this would be cute stuck out somewhere and then somebody can pick it up and flip through it and have fun looking at it and all that stuff. So it was fun, y'all, and I'll see y'all later, okay? I gotta go get me some new glasses. Go create. I can't see. Bye. <laughs>